Hey comrade, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see if someone knows your IP address, how much harm they can cause to you. In this case, we are talking about specifically hackers. Let us begin. First of all, let us take a quick look at what is IP address. So imagine a city. City is like just like an internet. In city, there are many houses. Imagine houses uh, like a device. Okay. Now houses has an address so that people could locate it. Similarly, on the internet, every device, whether it is phone, server, or laptop. They all have IP address. Okay, a typical IP address is a string of uh, take uh, a, a string of numbers, which will typically look like this, which I'm writing right now, something like this. Okay, and every device has it. Let me just write. Now suppose laptop one requests to server. Okay, and in this request, uh, IP address of uh, our laptop one is already attached, so that. Uh, the server knows that oh, this request is coming from laptop one okay now if server want to respond it, it can res respond to, to this ip address since it know its uh, location using its ip address right so it can respond to this laptop so this is how ip address works i hope you understand and un understood what is ip address so let us move to the next section ip address missing so the first uh, um, thing hackers can do using ip address is that they can know where you are from uh, although they cannot know your pinpoint location, but yeah, they can know from where you are. For example, simply go to browser and search what is my IP address and click on the top three of four links, whichever you want. And people see this uh, website will automatically detect that oh, you are from country Japan, region, uh, Kanagawa, and city Yokohama. Okay. And internet ser internet service provider is stop GMBH. Okay. So this is the first thing the hacker can do. Now, how you can prevent it? You can do it using VPN, which I'm already using. Um, my current location is not Japan, but it is displaying Japan. The second thing hacker can do is that DDoS attacks. Now, what is DDoS attack? Uh, let us imagine there is a shop, okay? Uh, these are the green one is genuine customer and the blue one just a fraud. You can say they are fraud customer, okay? They, they have just come to pass time, okay? Just let me give me a moment. Okay. Now it is uh, green way genuine customer and they are obviously very few in number. Now see uh, the shop of the person is floated by a fraud uh, customer. The genuine customer would not be able to get product. So the communication between them will be interrupted. Similarly, in the case of uh, uh, laptop, for example, this user, this user is communicating with this particular server. It has sent request to the server. Now, what will happen that uh, there is a hacker who sends request from multiple laptops or uh, multiple phone or tablets. Now, how will this is done? This is done using botnet. What is botnet? In simple terms, a uh, hacker has control over many devices using malicious mal malware and they send request at once. So, they all send request to, at once to this user since user device gets so many response that user connection usually fails or it's it's internet slows down uh, unable to communicate with that particular server or unable to use the internet this is DDoS attack it simply it just stops you from uh, using your server or if uh, attack is on a server it will uh, stop on people accessing that particular service for example if there is any exam result uh, declared and someone has attacked uh, that particular server. So people can't see the result. So this is what DDoS attack means. So it can be done using an IP address, just an IP address required more. Uh, third part is hacking into a network. Now look, okay. imagine someone know your home, that your home is located on this street and you, using a room address, obviously they know. Now what they can do is that they can look around your home. They can see how many doors are there, how many windows are there, are windows open or door opens. Similarly, uh, on device, there are various tools, for example, in map using in map, you can see that how many ports are open, uh, what is something where imagine at one port, you can uh, con uh, connect to a particular application you are using. So imagine you are using uh, on port number 443, you are using PowerPoint. And if there is any vulnerabilities found in PowerPoint, user can get into it using that vulnerabilities and once he gets into your system he has access to every device files and if, even he can set up backdoor what it what it means is simply that even if you patch up vulnerabilities of your powerpoint user can get into a system again and again since it has already set up backdoor so this is how someone can hack into a network and in this attack user can steal your data 
it can even set up proxy framing you for crimes it is both part no even a hacker frame you for the crime which you haven't committed so how this is done simply we saw in previous uh, section data how hackers got into a system now once they get into a system they can set a proxy although once they get into a system they have access to reject everything they can steal your data which is very much um, important for you i know that so now this is user and hacker has set up proxy no what will happen that suppose this is a company server okay and hacker try to attack this company server how will it attack well since it has set up proxy now hacker will send request to you okay and this ip address is included to you okay now once when you send request to this company and you are sending malicious link or whatever applications something like that or request so when company detects that it is malicious whether it detects if it detects it will um stop its firewall will uh, its firewall will stop your action and when company will inquire they will find ip address of yours not of that hacker particular since a uh, hacker has already access to the system it, it can remove log information of it um, ip address which uh, by which this request was sent you can't catch the hacker because it already has read or deleted all the log information and the user is left alone so with the company to just face the company now the next thing is uh, spoofing uh, you can also be framed for clients using spoofing but this is not that helpful because in this what happens that uh, see hacker sends a request to the company but it can't get response why let me show you so hacker just sends a request to the company since you know that ip address of this uh, device will be attached to this uh, request so company can know oh this request is coming from this particular hacker so uh, they try to infiltrate our uh, server so what hacker does that uh, they use many for uh, many uh, software they can use bobsuit in bobsuit what they do is that when they send request to the company they intercept it and they ju just change the ip address for example if the ip address of uh, hacker was 198.162 point something point something then what it will do that if you uh, suppose that the ip address of user is 1.1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. Then it will at the place of 198.162 point that something something it will write 1.1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Now if the request goes to a company, company will think that oh the, the person of IP address 1.1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. try to access our server and infil infiltrate it, so the company will take action on that. But the major problem of this uh, type of uh, so, sorry framing using is spoofing is that hacker can send request but it can't get response because according to company server the request is coming from 1.1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. and if it had to response it will respond to that particular uh, device which had actual ip address 1.1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. i hope this uh, uh, part was clear to you uh, so how you get protect from it so so you can't protect yourself from uh, spoofing ip spoofing so and uh, if you want to protect from this uh, which is uh, setting a proxy it is very much simple uh, you have to keep your system up to date and all the application you are using it is necessary to update and uh, did you as attack again you can't prevent from it because suppose uh, you will block one ip address two ip address three ip address but you can't block thousands of ip address because you have to work a uh, use service on your device too and uh, tracking location yeah you can use vpn for example you can see i am using vpn and my location is so in japan but i'm actually not from japan I hope this video is helpful guys. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel to comment in comment box and see me next video guys. Stay safe, stay secure.